welcome back to the Daily Dose. Yes, I'm still trying to grow a beard here. We're a week in. It looks like shit. I totally know. But welcome back to the Daily Dose. We have a lot of shit to talk about today, and why don't we just get right into it, okay? First things first, if you haven't already seen it, you should go over to the CW website or wherever they're showing it and watch Superhero Fight Club 2. It was something badass they did last year where they got all the characters from their shows and had a little fight club. Well, they made another little video where it's Superhero Fight Club team-up style, and it was pretty cool. Totally go check it out if you haven't already seen it. It's awesome. Why not watch it if you're not doing shit? Only reason I bring that up is because I want to talk about the CW-verse that is happening because it has been announced that the villains for the Fortnite crossover between Supergirl, Flash, Arrow, and Legends of Tomorrow is going to be the Dominators. If you guys don't know anything about the Dominators, they are old school villains, and they were in a comic book called The Invasion. I believe it was like a three issue series. Well, the Dominators are a superior race of aliens that just fucking want to dominate the universe. Obviously, it's in their name. But the reason why they want to destroy the humans is because they feel that the humans are going to become superior to them with the amount of superheroes that they are starting to produce. So, the Dominators are going to come to Earth to try to kill the freaking superheroes that are there because they don't want them to be superior to them. So, bada bing, bada boom, I think that's pretty awesome. At least that is the storyline from the comic books. I don't know if that's exactly what they're going to do in the Fortnite crossover, but it is pretty badass that we have our villains now. It sounds pretty cool because they're bringing in some old school villains. It's not going to take away from any villains that they're, oh my gosh, who's calling me? Like I was saying, that they're using an old school villain and they're not using one of the newer villains that we'd prefer to see in the movies where they're going to have a bigger budget. They can make them really badass. And, you know, you could have the Justice League fight somebody like Doomsday or Brainiac or, you know, Darkseid or whatever. Those badass villains should be saved for the movies that will look super epic and not on a smaller TV scale budget. So, uh, you know, just bringing in old characters that people might not know about is just a way to obviously do whatever the fuck you want with this character. But at the same time, they could do a whole new series if they want to with the Dominators in future comic books because everybody's going to have their freaking minds refreshed about who these characters were. So, I'm excited for the Fortnite crossover. I think it's going to be badass, and I can't wait to see what they're going to do with it. Moving on from superhero shows to the greatest show of all time. That is right. I believe it is the greatest show of all time. Actually, it's actually just my favorite show of all time, and that is Doctor who? That is right. If you guys are not watching freaking Doctor Who, what are you doing with your life? It is one of the best shows ever, I think. That's my opinion, but my opinion just matters because it's my opinion. But anyways, Doctor Who has released a behind-the-scenes slash trailer of the upcoming Christmas special, and it has a motherfucking superhero in it. That is right. Dr. Mysterio is going to be the, I guess, not the bad guy. I don't think he's going to be a bad guy, but... This episode of Doctor Who is going to have a superhero in it, and it's going to be awesome, and it's a Christmas special, so that means it's going to be Christmas-themed, and it's going to be legit! Seriously, though, I'm just excited that Doctor Who is coming back to TV. They did not have a season. Oh my god, there has not been a season of Doctor Who this year, because they were doing things. They're changing the freaking showrunner from Stephen Moffat to, I forget the new guy's name, but they're going through a lot of changes over there at Doctor Who. But man, if you guys have not seen Doctor Who, it has one of the best like TV show concepts ever because the show could never end if they don't want it to. If they don't ever want the show to end, it'll never end. And I'm talking about even when all of the actors die and everything, the show could keep going on. It is just the perfect concept for a show, and it involves time travel and space, and that means there's endless possibilities. I fucking love it. It is just one of the greatest shows ever. It has, it's funny, it's dramatic, it's just, watch it! It's so good if you haven't seen it. I guess, I know that thing just went off in the background, but that's the way this video is going. So anyways, Doctor Who coming back with a Christmas special this year. Cannot wait. Let's come back to the DCEU and talk about the Batman solo movie. So everybody lost their shit this week saying that Ben Affleck came out and said that his movie title is going to be The Batman. Well, he has clarified those statements and said that there is no official title yet. The internet's just fucking crazy and they're taking whatever they want from what he says and just making it happen, basically. I'm paraphrasing, but I'll, you know, I'll link the freaking comments in the description down below. Basically, what Affleck has said is there is no title right 
right now. People are just referring to it as Batman, the Batman, Batman and Friends. He just, there is no title right now because they're still working on the budget, they're still working on the script, and that there is no movie, no movie will happen until it is perfect because you know why? Ben Affleck wins Oscars and that motherfucker ain't gonna rush this movie. So, stop reading everything on every website and even on this freaking thing because I'll probably cover the things other websites cover. I don't know because that's how shit happens on the, on the internet. Unless Ben Affleck tweets it or says it from his mouth and it is not misconstrued, he's the only one that's going to give us the real answers to the Batman solo film. We had an executive from freaking Time Warner say that the movie's probably a year and a half out. Ben Affleck is saying that the script's not even done and they don't even have a budget. So, I don't know when the hell this movie's gonna come out, but Ben Affleck does want this to be a badass motherfucking movie. He probably wants it to be the best freaking Batman movie ever. And so, yeah, he tweeted out the Deathstroke stuff. He's confirmed the Deathstroke stuff. So, unless Ben Affleck says whatever this movie is going to be called. Just believe Ben Affleck. Don't believe anybody else. So yeah, the Batman solo movie right now is still just the Batman solo movie. It's not called the Batman yet. It's not called whatever. Now this could be a ruse. He could be looking to see if the internet likes the title of the Batman. But hey, there is no official confirmation right now of the title for the Batman solo film. This next thing I'm just going to show you. Watch this fucking featurette. There is a stranger who comes to this village from the sea comes in the winter when people are hungry and brings fish. He comes on the king tide. That was last night. Talk. I just want to say a quick thanks to my cast and crew. It's been a great shoot, and thank you, UK. It's been amazing. Oh, shit! That looks fucking awesome! Did you just see that? Did you just see that featurette? Justice League looks amazing! Holy shit, that featurette was awesome. Batman looks fucking great. Oh, my gosh. That looked fucking dope, guys. That... Oh! Who were those two sexy ladies that freaking crashed that thing? Is that Mira and freaking Wonder Woman? Or is like Mira actually gonna be in the action because it was a blonde chick and it was Wonder Woman? And I was all like, what you They cast that thing, I was like, mm, sexy! So that looked fucking awesome. I'm gonna link to the video in the description down below, of course. But if you wanna see it again for all its goodness, that, oh man, I just, ooh, ooh, ooh! Freaking Justice League, so excited for it. Ben Affleck. Oh man, everybody in this looks like it's gonna be great. They look like they're having a hella blast. Aquaman looks like it's gonna be fucking badass. And it, oh, it's just, I can't wait for this movie. I know a lot of people are like, eh, BBS, blah, blah, blah. fuck you guys. This one's gonna be different. Like I said, Justice League is very good. It's gonna have a different tone because Jeff Johns is behind it. And it's just, ah, oh, can't wait. I don't even, I don't even have anything else to say about it. Just that I am excited as on top of all of that awesome news that we just talked about, probably the biggest story that came out this week was that Greg Rucka, the writer of the current Wonder Woman comics, has came out and said that Wonder Woman is bisexual. What? That is right, Wonder Woman not only likes the D, she has no problem diving into the P. Now, of course, when anything like this happens, the internet loses its shit and people act stupid and they're like, oh, I've been reading Wonder Woman for seven. 75 years and I know for a fact that she is not gay. This is impossible. I don't like this. Blah, 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 blah. Fuck you if you're one of the people that thought that, okay? This makes so much sense and I'll talk about it in a little bit, but 
I need to just say this. If you are not a writer of Wonder Woman or you are not a head executive person at DC that can change freaking characters' mentalities and shit like that at the freaking company, you have no say-so in the matter, okay? You are just a reader of the stuff. Your opinion doesn't matter when it comes to this. The only way you're going to be able to change Wonder Woman from being bisexual to like, oh my gosh, she's super straight, is everybody in the world would have to stop buying Wonder Woman comics right now because that's the only way you can ever change the world is by affecting companies' pockets. Now, there are going to be people out there that don't buy Wonder Woman comics anymore because of that. It's fucking stupid. It's stupid. Like, this makes so much sense, guys. And let me tell you why. Wonder Woman grew up on an island of women, okay? The only love she knows is from other women. She's raised by women. She has... She, there is no men on Themyscira, okay? So if you don't think that after a big battle where all of these Amazons killed a bunch of people or warriors or whatever, that they don't get a little hot and heavy and they're like, ooh, you looking so good all sweaty over there covered in blood. If you don't think that's not happening on Themyscira, you are crazy, okay? Because shit, freaking go to a prison and see if guys and girls are not hooking up with each other. You haven't seen Orange is the New Black or shit like documentaries where guys are freaking just making out and doing other stuff with guys in prison because that is all they see for the rest of their life and all their, their lives. Freaking shit changes people. So if you think women on Themyscira are not getting busy with other women, you are delusional, okay? I mean, what is her past? It's like Greek. Wonder Woman is based off like Greek mythology or something along. I forget exactly what period it is. But come on, man. You don't think they're having crazy orgies on Themyscira? You are insane. This makes so much sense that she is bisexual. It just makes so much sense. And there's like hints of it throughout all of her comics in history. Just the way she talks to like her other Thamazonian sisters or whatever. Thamazonian? What? I just made that shit up. Her Amazonian, Amazon sisters, whatever. She just, you know, it, it, it doesn't bother me at all because one of that shit, it, that's fucking happened in the real world. But I don't know. I just, it makes so much sense that she's bisexual because then she sees Steve Trevor for the first time and she's like, oh, what is this, a man? Like, blah, blah, blah. She gets intrigued and bada bing, bada boom, she falls in love with him. She ends up falling in love with Superman later. She's had things with Batman. Like, there's just so many different things. So she's bisexual. Not a big fucking deal and it makes so much sense. But... Just because the most iconic female character in any series, I think of all time, Wonder Woman is probably the most, the most iconic female superhero. I will say that. That is for sure what she is. But I will say that just because Wonder Woman is bisexual, that does not mean we should go make Captain America and Bucky gay or Bruce Wayne gay just because we're doing that to Wonder Woman. Now hear me out before you kill me in the comments. What I mean by that is I'm not saying that there shouldn't be a gay Captain America or a gay Batman. What I'm saying is we shouldn't just start changing characters for the sake of changing them. So like if you want a gay Captain America or a gay Batman, you become a badass writer, you create a badass character that is gay, and then you have that badass gay character take over the mantle of Captain America. America or Batman and bada bing bada boom you got your gay superheroes don't just go change Steve Rogers and Bruce Wayne for the sake of changing them because it's a popular thing to do see I feel like that's kind of disrespectful to the straight community and the LGBT community because it's kind of like a slap in the face because you're just like here we're gonna do this to make you happy there you go Batman's gay like that would be kind of stupid and then it's gonna make the straight community that loves Batman be kind of like, whoa, whoa, that's kind of weird. You're just changing it just to make another group of people happy. Like that, it, that seems like a lose-lose situation because there's no, like there's no, how do you say like, it, it would just seem like you're just trying to make people happy and you're not doing it because it's furthering the character's development. You're just changing it for the sake of changing it. I find that wrong and disrespectful to the character. Now, if you are somebody that like your mind is set, like no, I want a gay Batman that is Bruce Wayne, then, like I said, become an amazing writer and talk DC into allowing you to write an Elseworld story or a multiverse story to where you actually get to have your gay Batman and bada bing bada boom, it 
it happens because we have the multiverse it's endless there's so many possibilities so yes there's probably a gay batman out there there's a gay captain america whatever all of that is very possible just become a great enough writer to where they're going to allow you to do that or you can always just go to tumblr and write fan fiction and bada bing bada boo you just pass through all the doors right there anyways i could talk about that topic for a really long time but yeah like i said i think if you're going to introduce gay characters into this comic book world which we need to and there are a lot of badass ones uh, Midnighter, if you guys have not read Midnighter, go read Midnighter. He is a fucking brutal, badass character. A lot of people refer to him as gay Batman, which is kind of stupid. He's his own character, he has his own fucking abilities, and he's great. He's even, he's fought Nightwing and shit. Like, it's, it's really awesome. If you're not reading that series, you should. You know, there are a lot of great characters out there, and you're gonna start seeing that more, that, that, uh, uh, in exclusive, it's not exclusivity, it's, uh, inclusion of characters, because that's the world we live in, guys. We live in a world that is diverse, and you, you know, you guys hear me say it all the time, I want more brown superheroes in MCU movies and stuff like that. You're gonna see more gay characters and stuff like that, but everything needs to be done right. Like, I don't want them just to make Batman Mexican or make Captain America, you know, brown or whatever. Like, I don't, I want it to be done correctly. Like, you know, change the character. Don't just make Steve Rogers gay or brown or black or whatever. Like, do it in a proper way. And I have no problem with sexualities being changed or sexual preferences or races of certain characters as long as those other characters have an end of their story. You know what I mean? Like, I'm all about acceptance and inclusion, but I'm also a writer at heart and I want things to be done the proper way. I want those characters that I have loved for so long. Like, if we were going to get a different Batman, I want Bruce Wayne to have a send-off like whether he dies whether he gives up the mantle like I need that story to end I don't want it to just change out of nowhere because we're trying to make other people happy it's been really popular lately like the whole Bucky Captain America thing blew up and everybody's like let their gay bromance whatever um and it's just like you know don't I mean I get it it's fun to do but at the same time it can be kind of hurtful if you're gonna start making mentalities of we should just change things for the sake of changing them. It's like, no, you're gonna ruin these amazing characters that we've had for decades upon decades. But yeah, anyways, let me know what you think about that in the comment section down below. Wait, before you go, I need to talk about two very important things. One is a lot of you guys are asking if I'm gonna cover Arrow, Legends of Tomorrow, Supergirl, as of right now, the only two shows that I'm going to be covering weekly, and you are always going to have a video when an episode comes out, is going to be Gotham and The Flash. Those two are guaranteed. Supergirl, Arrow, and Legends of Tomorrow are going to be sporadic videos. If I'm off that day, or if I have the time to actually review them, or something just amazingly crazy happens in those episodes, and I feel like I have to talk about them, uh, they might be converted to like maybe talking about those shows in the Daily Dose, if I have room to talk about talk about them but uh it's just a lot guys like and then the walking dead's coming back and i always cover the walking dead so it's gonna be a lot of stuff and like i said this we're getting into the busy season and it's gonna be really hard to do the daily dose like i said because i'm gonna be covering all these other shows so i just wanted to let you guys know about that schedule flash and gotham for sure with some daily doses here and there and then when the walking dead starts back up i'll more than likely be covering the walking dead as well so uh yeah i just want to let you guys know about the schedule but now i want to talk about something that happened on the live stream which was the last live stream which was the overwatch one was we were joking around and we were talking about the 50k promise like i was mentioning something about i don't know why we were talking about subs or something like that somebody mentioned it and you guys are always saying like juice you deserve more subs which i appreciate guys you know and i hopefully maybe one day we'll have a bunch of subs but we were talking in the stream and i was saying i was like you know what guys if for some reason we hit 50,000 subscribers by the end of the year by december 31st or i guess all of december 31st and january 1st whatever if we hit 50k subscribers i will do like a badass giveaway now i don't know what the badass giveaway will be i mean i I'm kind of thinking like I don't know man maybe I could give away a PlayStation or give away a game or like you know something like that like if I if I had the money to do it I would probably try to do that like I mean if we hit 50k by the end of the year I'll like try to work overtime at my job and be like let me buy a PlayStation to give it away um do something like that I was talking about doing something crazy but we started talking about a bunch of other things that I could do too. 
and uh, my friend Zen Argo was all like, dude, if you freaking hit 50k by the end of the year, you should do a live stream as the Joker. Because if you guys never saw the video I did for the DC All Access show, I dressed up as the Joker and was in character. And they were saying I should do a live stream as the Joker. And uh, yeah, so that would be insane. So we could do that. We could do an awesome giveaway live stream as the Joker. And then I was saying other stuff like I could do ringtones. Because one thing you guys love is you love the little nugget voice where it's all like, but juice. What? People are starting to like, cold-blooded. Uh, what else you guys are like, oh shit. Like all of those little sayings and stuff I have, I could make text message like ringtones and stuff. Uh, we were talking about that. I could like do like really high quality ones and let you guys download those, uh, you know, so you could use them. I could be like, but juice, it's a text message or some shit. I don't know, we can think about it. So I want to throw it out there. We're saying it in a video, so it is true. The 50K promise. If we hit 50k by the end of the year, which would be insane, guys. It would be really insane to hit 50k by the end of the year because we only have about two and a half months, almost three months to do this. If we do it, I will do an awesome giveaway. I will do a live stream as the Joker. I will make awesome, cool ringtones of catchphrases. Uh, I'll probably look into making per like a perch apparel, like shirts and shit. I might do that before that, to be honest. Um, and I don't know. Somebody also mentioned, they're like, would you dye your hair green for the whole Joker thing? Yes, I would, but only if my job allows it. I have no idea if my job allows to have different crazy colored hair. Because I don't think 50,000 subscribers would be enough for me to live off of YouTube and do that full time. But if my job allowed me to dye my hair green, I would totally dye it green. So yeah, I want to put that out there. The 50k promise is a real thing. If we hit 50,000 subscribers by the end of the year, I will do all of that stuff. And if you guys have other suggestions of what we should do for the 50k promise, I am totally down for it. But I just want to put that out in the world. So if you want to see this channel get 50k and get a possible chance to do all of that cool stuff, cool stuff, I can't even talk anymore. Start spreading the channel, start spreading the love anywhere, on Twitter, Instagram, whatever. Tell your friends, tell your grandma, tell your brothers, tell your sisters, tell everybody to subscribe to the channel so we can make this stuff happen. Do not make fake accounts, guys, because that hurts the channel way more than freaking not having people watch. Because then you'll have 50k subs, but you're only getting like a thousand views. People will just think the channel's fake and then I'm buying subs. Please do not create fake accounts just to hit 50k. Just spread the word. Spread the word. Be like, hey, I like this video. Check out this guy. Blah, blah, blah. Just do that and we'll totally be fine, guys. All right? Anyways, that's it, guys. Thank you. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and share it with all your buddies. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button for all things nerdy and geeky on this channel. But as always, guys, I am your host, Juicebox. Remember, when you wake up in the morning, ask yourself something. If I have a daily dose of juice, see you guys next time. Bye!